Hi guys, this is your sister Carrie Ann in Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, I want to come to you with a very, very powerful, powerful vision. Um, I'm going to try to give part of the vision here, okay? And the next part, you will have to go to my free speech channel to watch it, to watch a full, to watch a full video. Um yeah let me let me do let me let me give part of it here and see how i get on all right because now we have to use wisdom in all things that we do hallelujah but we know that the enemy is working but we're one step of the devil so <clears throat> i believe that brothers and sisters there's going to come a time a very 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 near future where some of us are going to go into shock mode and shock waves because we're going to believe wow i cannot believe that this is happening to me i do believe i do believe that before i believe that some of us brothers and sisters will be thrown into jail i do believe that some of us will be thrown into jail um because you've got to understand that we are heading towards a full blowing new world and in satan's kingdom you know <clears throat> the devil don't let no one to rebel against his wicked ways especially when you're rebelling to support or you're rebelling to stand with christ hallelujah so when that happens you know he uses every wicked means and way to quiet you down so i do believe that some of us will be thrown into jail pretty soon now in this vision that i had brothers and sisters i i was at home and i heard a knock on the door and when i opened the door brothers and sisters i saw a man in a white coat and he had a briefcase in his hand, he had glasses on and all of that, looked very studious, okay? And when I looked behind him, up and down the streets, brother, the street, brothers and sisters, I saw police and soldiers. But these police and soldiers, I didn't feel them in my spirit. They were wicked. That's all I'm going to put it in the vision. That's how they came across because in my spirit in the vision i wasn't receiving receiving them and the, the the guy that was in the white coat he he was softly spoken all right it was a harsh or robust or no it was very softly very intelligent very softly spoken and when i opened like i said i opened the door and he was there and he said to me is this carrying get it and call my full name and i said yes i said i said yes that's me and he said to me i was sent here by the government just like that yeah <laughs> that's what he said to me brothers and sisters and when he said that to me brothers and sisters yes i felt overwhelmed i felt overwhelmed because i was thinking oh I must be on the radar for these wicked people, you know. Um, and he said to me, I don't, I, I, from what I can remember from the vision, I don't think I invited him in. I don't think I invited this guy in. Like I said, oh, you're from the government. Oh, come in. No, I don't think I invited him. I invited him. Invited him in. But whilst I was there standing talking to this guy all of a sudden i found myself in my front room with the guy that part of saying oh coming in because i don't think i would ever do that i don't even like people coming to my house doing censors brothers and sisters when i knock on the door oh, i'm here for the 2021 census how many people live here and where you i don't like doing those stuff so i, I put them off until when they eventually write to me and said, if you don't do your censors, we're going to find you money. And then I'll, you know, I'll quickly do it or whatever. Because it's only a censor. All right. Um, 
So I don't think in the vision I would have invited him, invited him in. But for some reason, he was in my front room and I was sitting in front of him. This guy in the white coat. And when I looked behind him through the window, the police and the soldiers were still patrolling the street up and down. And it wasn't him alone in white coat. There were other people when I looked. Through. I didn't see them at first. But when he sat in my front room and I looked through the window... I could see other people in white coats, brothers and sisters. They were in white coats, um, knocking on people's door. But my front room didn't look the same. It looked a little bit different, you know, because in natural, in real life, when you look in, my, when you, if you're in my front room, um, and you look through the window, you only can see fields where the, what do you call it, where you can see the sheep and the whatever it's not houses but this time this front room look, looked a little bit different i could see houses in front of me so maybe the lord just bought it up in the realm of the spirit so i could see what was going on but there were other men in white coats other people in white coats up and down you know knocking on people's door with the police and soldier patrolling but anyways brothers and sisters so this guy when he sat down as i said it was softly spoken and he said, I've been sent here by the government. I said, why? Of course I ask him why. Because then you're going to not want to know. I said to him, why? What's happening? Why, why did the government send you here? And brothers and sisters, remember Tolly had a suitcase or a... No, what looks like a suit, uh, not, suit, not suitcase, I'm sorry, brief, sorry, I do apologize, a briefcase in his hand. And he opened up the briefcase, brothers and sisters, oh my God, what I saw in it, I was just taken back, literally taken back. Now, as I was looking at the stuff in his briefcase, my spirit then went to a different place. But this time, I was underneath what appears to be a tunnel or a cave. A tunnel or a cave. And there were different, different rooms, dark rooms, brothers and sisters, horrible, horrible rooms. Dark rooms underneath these caves, tunnel cave type of place. And they had prison bars on them. There were so many people in them, brothers and sisters. And every single body, every single one that was in this prison underneath the cave was there for the same reason, including me. So I found myself in the cave. I, I literally found myself in the cave with other people who were talking. And they said, oh yeah, that guy in the white coat came and visited. Not the same person, but there's different, because I said there's different people in white coats, Right? And um, the, we all had the same story. We all had the same story. And we stood on the ground and so we said, no, you know, this is it. You will have to watch the free speech channel for full information on this video. Sorry. I will link it. Okay. I will link it in the uh, description box. So that you can watch it. I was thinking of doing it. Should I do it on the backup channel? I don't know. Okay. Check my free speech and my backup channel. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Check my free speech and my backup channel. Okay. Um, I will link the full... The full vision there but brothers and sisters so like i said when i was in this prison place with all these people all of us was there for the same reason every single one of us for the same exact reason and then my spirit went back and i was in front of the guy with the white coat and he began to speak to me and tell me the re the reasons why he were there it was reason why, the reason why i was at my house yes the government sent him but there was a purpose that the government sent him for
some of us will be thrown into prison. 100%. We will. I'm telling you, brother, it is coming. The new world has to take place. It's time, brothers and sisters. This is no more kitty catting around. We have to be done with that now, brothers and sisters. We're heading into a new world religion. That thing is next as well. I am telling you. But they're getting their stuff in order. They're getting their stuff in order, brothers and sisters. It is coming. And you have to be prepared. You have to be prepared. I want you to watch either my free speech or my backup channel. Any one of them, just go to the description box. You'll find the full video of what I'm saying. The full video. You must watch a full video. You must watch it. Because I know some of you are watching this now. You're thinking, oh, what was she, you know, she says white coat. Who's in white coat? She said he pulled out a, a briefcase. What's in the brief? You need to watch the video. Because on here, I have to use wisdom. I have to use wisdom, all right? So please watch the full video either on my free speech or my backup channel. All right, we'll leave it linked. So be bold, be strong, be courageous, walk with Yah, just like Enoch. All praises, all beautiful praises to the Most High Yah, who lives above the heavens. Yah eternally bless you. I love you all, and I will see you soon, someday in glory. In Jesus Christ, precious holy name, amen and amen, amen. And let us say the benediction together. The benediction is Jude chapter 1, verses 24 to 25. We agree with the servant of the Most High Yah. How he explain, how he expresses our good, our uncreated Yah is. Hallelujah. If you've got your Bibles, please read with me. If you don't have your Bibles, that's okay. Just listen. If you go to your heads, please say it with me. Jude chapter 1, 24 to 25. The Bible reads, Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God our Savior be glory majesty dominion and power both now and forevermore amen and amen amen blessings amen